every day. My name remains Engineer Theocracy, your humble Ashatanide culturist. What do I mean by Ashatanide culturist? I am here to publicly apologize to all my followers. I want to make a confession, confession along with apology. We learn every day and we discover new things. When we discover, we will tell you. Even if our discovering uh, serves as if we are a failure, we will also tell you. I just discovered something that I want to pass to my, uh, my viewers, that I am please sorry, very sorry to must have addressed myself as an heresy culturist. Today I'm denouncing that name of being an heresy culturist. I am no longer an heresy culturist. Please, everywhere I have pasted, I have branded heresy culture, I am removing it after this video. What do I mean when I say I am no longer an heresy culturist? Now, when we check the history of the word heresy culture, Hellesy culture originated from Europe, and the word Hellis is a particular snail, which is a species called the Hellesy, a Hellis Aspasa is a particular species, Hellis Pumatia, Hellis Conu, these are snails of the Hellicinidia family. They all come from the Hellicinidae family, and they are all surrounding all the countries in the Mediterranean region, in the Europe, Italy, Israel, Moscow, and so many other countries surrounding. Hellis is a very good genius of snail. In the audio species, they decided to pick Hellis Aspasa, and Hellis Aspasa becomes a snail that is very popular in Europe. All over the, the Mediterranean countries and all the Europe, Whatever they use Hellis as parsa. That is the snail they use. And it's very small and coily. It is called Hellis as parsa. Now, when they want to name the people who culture that species of animal, that species of snail, they name them that they are culture of Hellis as parsa. Now, Hellis as parsa is a particular species. The family of the Hellis is called Hellicinidae. So it becomes Hellisiculture. But I find out that in Africa, we don't do Hellis. In Africa, we don't do Hellis Aspasa, we don't do Hellis Pumatia, we don't do Hellis Kornu, and other Hellis. That is where we are getting it wrong. Because the formation of our farms these days, we are practicing this European method of practicing Hellis. Now, what is that snail, Hellis? Hellis Aspasa is not a forest snail. Hellis Aspasa is a garden snail. I will break it down. Hellis Aspasa is a garden snail. Now, if you check the formation of how they finally decided to do farming from the number one farmers in the world, which is the touchstone snail technology, they are the number one in Hellis Aspasa production. They are very good at it. So define a method of cutting method. The cutting method is you have to define a table in the farm. And you put some runners on the table, then you put either a, a, a wood or you put some pans on the on the table, then you send a net from the ground so that the hellis will crawl in. And what they planted there is feed. Anything growing to cover the, the table, they don't do it. They plant a feed all around. And those feed that they are planting, those uh, uh, are food, they are vegetations. But it's on a feed way. Now, the, the table, the snail will not crawl through those nets, going to the top there to eat and to feed. That is what we call the, the, the cutting method. 
the cutting method. I will take you to the other farm and I will show you what the cutting method is. So when we started, we copy from them. But we realize that our species in Africa is not helis. Instead, our species is called the Ashatinide fam uh, 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 species. Ashatinide. In the Ashatinide family, you have the Ashashatina marginata, you have the Ashatina fulica, and Ashashatina marginata. These are the most popular species in Africa that we believe in. These are the three species. Ashashatina marginata, Ashatina ashatina, Ashatina fulica. They all falls in the family of the Ashatinide family. Now, if in the Europe or in the Mediterranean region, those countries, they believe in their helis and the culture, their helis, and those who practice the uh, uh, helis uh, aspasa and helis pumatia and helis konu, they are called the helis culture. I then cannot be called helis culture because I'm not culturing helis. I am culturing Ashatinide. Therefore, I denounce the name helis culture. I pronounce the name Ashatinide culturist because we have to promote our Africa's name. It happens to be the biggest in the world. They don't have it there. So if we carry their method to Africa, we will get it wrong. Now, in their, their, their canopy, what they use in covering, they don't have hot sun over there. Their temperature is mine. So what they use in covering the top is to, 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 to shade away snow when snow falls. For snow not to fall into the farm, they shade away snow. We don't shade away snow in Africa. Instead, we shade away sun. And now, because of our harsh weather in Africa, our snares are going into hiding. In Hellis, in Hellis uh, a cultural people, which is the Hellis culture, who happens to be in Europe, who happens to be in the Mediterranean region, Italy, Germany, and so many other places, all they do is, is a feed. The weather is not too harsh, so their snail doesn't go in hiding. Their snail comes everywhere. That's what they call their own garden snail. So Helis Aspasa is a garden snail. Ashashatina marginata, Ashashatina, uh, Ashatina Ashatina, Ashatina fulica is not a garden snail. Instead, it's a forest snail. Now, why do we call our forest? When you are looking for Ashatina Ashatina, because of our hot weather, our snakes decided to go into hiding. When you go to the farm, you go to the bush, you start seeing, you know, looking for everywhere to find the snake. All of them hide. That is why if you even take your mind to those who practice pen method, all they do, they bring some uh, plantain leaves to pack inside the pen. Why? For the direct sun not to go to those snakes. Because our weather is harsh. And our snails goes into hiding. So if you decide to start uh, 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 defining a farm method, a farming method to culture our African snail, you have to define it according to our weather. That is why we go into this forest method. The forest method is the one that will share the snail. And our, our covering is not just nets. We cover to break the ray of the sun. Two. These are the things we look together and say, no, we shouldn't just be copying, 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 and be copying everything that the, 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 the white man will do and will bring it to Africa and apply such in Africa. It doesn't work. Now, let me break it down. Just like a white man who comes to Africa, you will realize that if the white man comes to Africa, our son might burns their skin. Sometimes they hide away from our sun because you see their skin started changing. Sometimes they have some sunburn. A black man cannot have a sunburn because that is our culture. We are good with the sun. But they are not good with the sun because that is not their weather. The weather we have here is not their weather. So when they come here, they, 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 they will start having some sunburn. Now, what if we go there? We we'll start feeling cold. If a white man put on one jacket, we put on two because we feel cold. We feel cold and we start running. It is not our culture. So if you bring Helis as passer from the cool weather of the Mediterranean region to Africa, that snail will die. 
because our weather here is too harsh for them. So their method of construction there and our method of construction here can never be the same. Why? Because the weathers are different. And the practice of those hellish um, the touch the snail technology cannot apply in Africa. The reason is they are good at their, their, their production of snail there in their weather. Not in Africa. I started it at first by copying from there. I copied their method, I failed. I copied their name, I failed. To the point that I went to print a helicopter in my back. Look at it. After this video, I'm removing those trash. I am going to promote my African snail. Remember, the white people, they saw development. They are developed countries. So they go into this thing first. So they named it. We that are on Africa is underdeveloped. So now that we are coming up with snail farming, we must not copy everything. So for that reason, I denounce that name Hellis uh, culture, and I bring our African species name, which is Ashatini the culture. So as for I am engineer theocracy, the Ashatini the culturist. Let me take you to the other farm and explain some cutting method, which I did before, and I failed. I decided to go into uh, the, 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 the natural Africa habitat of Ashatini, the family snail, which is the Asha Shatina marginata, Ashatina Ashatina, Ashatina fulica. Let's go to the other farm. Let me show you one or two things in the production department. Yeah, I'm here to explain to you the cutting method. When I started at first, I started with this cutting method uh, by building some cutting method, follows the Hellis method and the rest. And my brother, it doesn't work with me. I have to convert when the knowledge comes in an Africa way. Now take a look at this. This is the cutting method. You see that I'm not using those pipes. They're a waste of money. So if you are doing farm, you don't need to waste your money. Look at it. One, two. So you now put cuttings down, straight down. Now, as you can see, everywhere is like a forest. Now I have decided to lose them. So it's not that I did not practice it. I practiced this system, but it doesn't work. So for me to recommend to you that this is the best working system, forget it. It's not that I've not tested other technology. I've not tested other systems. But now I am telling you, it's not an African practice. Because those who are practicing cutting method are practicing it because the Hellis and Spasa species are not forest snails. They are garden snails. In Africa, we don't have garden snails. The garden snails we have are those tiny snails we see on the world that doesn't have any commercial value. We don't even pick it. The ones that have commercial value, we know, it is called the forest snails. We pick them in the forest. So when we are practicing snail farming in Africa, we should approach them in a forest method, which is plantings. I remain your humble theocracy. Please, once again, I will say sorry for telling you that I'm an LSA culturist. I hereby change that and please forgive me. I am here to tell you my downfall. I'm here to tell you my progress because it is very rare. What, what will you, it doesn't take me anything not to tell you, but I have failed, not in the practice, but in copying their name. I denounce the name. I am no longer LSA culture, but instead, I am engineer theocracy, the Ashatini, the culturist. Thank you. Thank you.